You're watching UNICEF television. Hi, good day everyone. I'm Stuart Manuel reporting for UNICEF Television Live here at the COP17 conference in Durban. I wanted to take you through a journey of the things that have been said today by leaders and the young people who are here at, at COP17 to, to, to give children out there a voice. Tap. 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 Remix. Remix. Hey everyone, this is Mukhadi Siemula. I'm here at Deben at the ICC attending COP17. Tap. Today we learned a lot of things, we learned about 350 and 1.5, you can google those if you don't know where they are. And also we had a meeting with the executive secretary for the UNFCCC. When I was young we used to have monthly trips to town with my dad and on those journeys there was wildlife like at the sidelines of the road in the neighboring farms. And it was one of my dream that one day I could also be able to drive across the same road with my children one day and point at the same giraffe. But because of climate change, I can't do that. So I'm really just trying to fight climate change so that I can still have the opportunity to show my child those animals and I won't have to go to a zoo for it. We have dreams. And our dream is the fact that we can one day smile and say, we made it. We are who we wanted to be. But slowly, that dream is fading away because of climate change. Now we might not be able to come up and voice our views in, those one of, in one of those meetings, but our voice is this. We need you guys to make the biggest decisions of our lives. One opportunity to talk at the COP17 climate change conference. Now the big thing about conferences, they're always about people in suits, grown up people. But at this conference, we've managed to find young people who seem to understand what climate change is all about. Climate change, it has, it has a very a negative impact on us and our community because there's a lot of mining going on around there, there's a lot of industries and developments, so climate change, it has affected us because those, mine, those, those institutions, they actually trigger it to, to happen. Um, in my community, most people do not understand when we tell them about climate change. Now, as you're standing here as the young stars, as the social records of today and tomorrow, we want to say that you must know that we know about these things. You must have the confidence and power which says that these children have young minds but great ideas. Young minds, young minds, let's get together and I think the most important lesson is that I think not that we, Lena, we as young people, we need to take part today. We don't have to wait for tomorrow or the future. We just need to take action and take charge because it's all in our hands at, at our disposal. From the Executive Secretary of the UFCCC, I was very motivated by her to keep on doing more. And throughout the week, we had sessions with members from UNICEF. They just told us how we can we can fight without having to fight with people on a more personal level. They just told us that it has to come from inside here first. You have to be passionate about it. And when you're passionate about it, your passion can actually move to another person, like osmosis. In my community, I'm going to show them and, 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 and edu educate them as ignorant as they are, but I'm going to tell them and preach that gospel that a little goes the long way. In South Africa, we say, umuntu, umuntu ngabantu. You are who you are because of other people. And you might not know it, but the decisions that you make on a daily basis make me who I am. So I'd like to call upon everyone who has a voice to stand up and make a positive influence. Thank you. We must be leaders in our communities because that's what's important. So yeah, I am Mokhadi Siemola, reporting for UNICEF TV. Today has been an experience and quite listening to these people, to these young, young, ex excellent young people, it has been a great experience for me as Stuart Manuel reporting live at the COP17 for UNICEF TV.